Talk about Dalton. Don't you have any big? Do you have any big news? Oh, do we need to? Do we? Should we talk about that? Yeah. <sighs> All right. If All you right. Want, it's up to you. All right. Well, I got big. I have big news. All right. Hey guys. I'm Drum trans. roll, please. Yeah. <laughs> we previewed this on. Uh. Oof. Damn. This is hard to talk about. It's okay. Do you man. not want to talk about I'll it? I'll talk about you it. You don't have to talk about I, it. I. Uh had sex with a woman last week wow yeah. for the for the first time ever wow Whoa. it was only men up until then <laughs> yeah Whoa. it was just me Ooh. and joe it was i had only had sex with robbie and joe yeah. until <laughs> no i yes i was a virgin till pretty late in my 20s <laughs> <laughs> but but by choice no Oh, interesting. I don't know. I grew up like super religious, and then I've always been like weird about sex. Mm. So many hangups, just com- impossible for me to bed a woman. <laughs> and I don't know. I've just always been nervous about it. And then, like, as I got older, because it's like when you're 15, it's like, yeah, it's normal to be a virgin. And then you try to talk to girls, and eventually someone. If you do that enough, one of them will have sex with you. But if you never did that, like, as you continue into adulthood, it becomes weirder and weirder. And then, like, every girl you meet is like, I don't want to be the first one. It's like, that was always the issue is they were always, every woman I would, like, try to be with when when I would tell them they, which I guess I could have just lied, but. Yeah, yeah, that's the alpha move. Yeah. I don't know. I never lied about it, and then it bit me in the ass every time because every woman would like we bite you in the ass. They would bite me in the ass. Yeah. yeah. No, it's like we would, uh, like, be making out and everything, mm-hmm. and then like, I don't know. I they would never want to go beyond that. They would always be. Like, I don't want the responsibility of being the first person you have sex with. You're gonna fall in love with me, and it's gonna get too weird. Damn. It also may have just been that I only ever h- hung around like mean women. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of factors in that. So, uh, so yeah. I did finally, especially after I got diagnosed with muscular dystrophy, I was like, all right, it's time to start living, brothers. Mm-hmm. And so I had sex with a woman last week. Uh, I, I met her on a uh, rather exclusive <laughs> dating app. Yeah. It was, uh, hey, let's just say it wasn't a cheap date. <laughs> <laughs> if, you ca- if you catch my drift... If you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, and so I uh, met her on this app, and it said her no. name. How not cheap was it? I on I probably spent about $700 <laughs> on this date. You must have really liked After this lady. All yeah. said and done, everything Time we did. Square, she lived in Midtown, right? It's pretty expensive around there. I'm not going to say where she lived. Oh, sorry. Yeah. But when all said and done, after everything we did, I probably did end up coming out of seven hundred dollars that night on this date. Okay. And I met her on this app. It said her name was uh, I think it said her name was Maria. Oh my or god, Mia or something like that. It's me, Maria. Maria. She was, she was Maria, really, Maria. she was really cute in her pictures, yeah. and we started messaging. And I said I'd love to meet, and she said, "Well, yeah, come on over." And so went to her place. Mm-hmm. And uh, not as I was walking to her door, I could hear her on the other side of the door getting ready for me to walk up because mm-hmm. she was excited to meet a stud like me. Oh, yeah, that, dude. It wouldn't. Alpha male? Hell yeah. And so I knock on the door. She opens it. And the first thing I notice is this is not the woman that was in the picture. How? D- like it was a completely yeah, different Yeah, completely different person. Didn't even look anything like the picture. And she, I come in and she goes... Hello, how are you? And she has like a thick Russian accent. Wow. She's like, hello, how are you? I, I'm trying to see if I can do a Russian yeah. voice. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you? It is me. Oh, vodka. Ha, hello, how are you? Let me see if I can get into it. Vodka. That's pretty good. Vodka. Okay. Moscow Mule. Moscow Mule. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Kremlin. <laughs> the Kremlin. Uh, Vladimir Putin. Okay. Uh, the space race. The space race. We hate your president, John F. Kennedy. And so he, <laughs> yeah. And so <laughs> she said all that to you. Yeah, she said all that to me. 
And so she goes, see it, see it. And she goes, you want to take shower? And I go, sure. And she goes, and then she goes, well, you have to uh, buy me dinner first. And so I spent uh, $700 on dinner. <laughs> okay. Where'd <laughs> you get I, dinner? Red Lobster. We, uh, we ordered in. Mm. <laughs> okay. Wait, what'd you order? <laughs> uh, clams. <laughs> order clams. Oh yeah. And so I uh, paid for the dinner. Okay. If you know what I mean. Yeah. And I go take. Wait, I, what restaurant? <laughs> Red Lobster. Oh, cool. Yeah. We got a lot of biscuits, dude. That's sick. And so I go take a. I I go take a shower. Mm -hmm. And I get out of the shower, put my clothes back on. I come out, and she's she. I mean, she's ready to go. She's already sitting on the bed in her bra and panties. Oh my god! And she sends oh my god. She goes, "Why are your clothes back on? <laughs> take clothes off." And I get down to my boxers, and she goes, "Take those off too." Oh. And I go, "Wait, really?" And she said, "Yes. How do you expect to have sex with boxers on?" <laughs> <laughs> and so I take Did my. Did you tell her it was your first time? No, I lied. She because I good. I got nervous. Good. Cause I, she asked, yeah, <laughs> like, she asked me, she job. goes, she goes, why? She's like, why are your boxers on? And I go, I'm sorry, I'm just like nervous. She goes, why are you nervous? And I said, I've just never done this before. And she goes, what, you're a virgin? And I go, no, 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 I've just never done what we're doing before. I've never bought a girl dinner. <laughs> dinner it, the dinner was fine can you get into the specifics of the dinner <laughs> okay so so i she i lay on the bed and she goes take socks off too and i don't want to i don't like my feet and she goes take so i took my socks off i'm naked and i'm very soft mm. but i chub up enough and then she puts the condom on me she doesn't do it with her mouth which i wanted her to do yeah she of just course. like she just like opened it up and like slapped it on. Oh, like, like a f oh, that like a sucks. And like a fucking surgeon applying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they pull it back and they move their fingers. Yeah. And snap it By the way, I hope to God you both wear, wore your masks. We, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah sure. Practicing <laughs> social distancing. Yeah, I mean, I actually no, no, no. Before before that, she put the condom on. She goes, "You like to kiss?" And I go, "Sure." And so I made out with this girl. Sounds awesome. Yeah. Hold on, just listen to the rest of the story. <laughs> And so we were making out, and then she puts the condom on me, and then she starts giving me a blowjob over the condom, oh, which I yeah. give two thumbs way the fuck down. Oh. That sucks. I'm with you. Fuck a fuck blowjobs. Yeah. F fuck, fuck that shit, dude. That feels like nothing. I hated that so much. I was like, I can't believe this is what this is. Yeah. A blowjob. Can't believe over it's not nutter. I can't. <laughs> But then she also starts like jerking me while she does it. I'm like, all right, all right, yeah, yeah. This but stuff. also, it was just like a dead silent room. So the only thing I can hear is just the no music of the condom. There's no music right <laughs> no, now. No, there's not, dude. It's just like a bare room with nothing, nothing on the walls. Oh, that's so weird, dude. Ooh. It was so weird. And so then uh, she does was that. It a nice apartment. No. Um, and then she she starts riding me, and then we go at it for a little while. Uh, so I've like I've put my dick inside of a pussy for the first time ever, Hell and I wow. am yes. not thrilled about oh, it. No. Oh it, no! I'm like I this is not fun. Oh. And Why wasn't it fun? It just I I don't know, man. It's like the first time. Okay. First time's always bad, and especially because I didn't really know this woman and right. had no connection with her. Right. And it was, like, super clinical, too. Like, she's just, like, generously applying lube to everything. Mm -hmm. It's like, she's not wet at all. At least she's generous. That's true. Yeah. But then, Ellen like, so we go at it for, like, a few minutes, and she goes, you'll finish? And I'm like, no. And she goes, oh. Uh, I hate that. <laughs> yeah. And then she goes at it again. She goes, you'll finish yet? And I'm like, no. And she goes, you know, some people, they come here, and they fuck, 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 and they just never finish. <laughs> and she's, like, she's, like, complain she's, like, she's like complaining you. while I'm inside of her. That's so funny. Yeah. Ooh, like, so, like you're buying coffee or something. Yeah. And so then, like, we go at it for a little while longer, and she gets frustrated, and she goes, maybe maybe this, like, we make you finish faster. And she goes, what can I do? And I go, I don't know. Try jacking me off really fast. That's usually what I do. <laughs> <laughs> and so and so she just starts, like, jacking me off. Like, oh, like, dude. Like, really fast. And she goes, 
my hand tired. Maybe you try. And so then she's just watching me jack off. Like I, she's just laying next to me watching me, and I'm just jacking off. Do you and want then, the Louis special? Oh, yeah. Man. And then she starts, like, cupping my balls. While I, I guess she still wanted to be involved, and so she yeah. starts cupping my balls, and I go. <laughs> I just want to be involved. Yeah. And I, I go, yeah, that feels good. Just do that. And so she's, like, just poking and prodding my balls while I'm jacking off. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to finish. Can we, like, try Can you get on top of me again? And she gets on top and goes in for a 69. And I go, no, 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 no. Whoa, That's not what I asked whoa. for. I said, can we have sex? And she goes, oh, six. <laughs> oh, this is like a threes company. And so of. she does reverse cowgirl for a while. And then she's like, you'll finish? I go, no. And she hops off and, like, I inspects. Like it's like a maid or something. Yeah, and then she hops off and inspects the condom, like, looking for cum. And she goes, I think you'll finish. I'm like, I guarantee you I didn't finish. I, this, this condom is empty. Yeah. And so yeah. then she's just laying next to me. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish. And I tried to, like, I told her, I, th- I was like, I think it may be I'm on this medication. And she goes, why, why are you on medication? And I go, it's for depression. And she goes, what are you depressed about? Oh, my God. Is there stress in your life? Are you sick? And I go, I I don't know. It's genetic. I can't explain. She goes, you know, here in America, you're all obsessed with this depression. Everybody talks. I am from Russia. Life is tough in Russia. It's very hard there. And we have reason to be sad. You have no reason to be sad here in America. You have best life. Maybe next time you come, no medicine, you finish. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> hey, she wants she you invited back. me back. Yeah, yeah. that's great. And yeah. then fifteen percent discount. Yeah, and then I go, "Do you want to try? Can we try again?" She goes, "We could try, but I don't think you finish. Maybe you go take shower, come back late, come back another time." <laughs> and so then I just get up and take a shower and leave. And then I like that she gave you like a Sopranos monologue. She really yeah. did, dude. I was talking to someone else about that. <laughs> about this, and she really <laughs> did like. Be, she was like Tony Soprano's, the one-legged Russian chick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm just depressed. You Americans, let me break down the moral theme of the episode. No, yeah. No. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> man, it was a fucking awful, terrible experience. Yikes. I, Sounds I, fun when you talked about it's, it. It's a fun story. Like, I'm grateful that I got that story out of it. It'll mm-hmm. be fun to, like, talk about that and, like, write a, a bit about it, I guess. But for in the moment, I was just like, man, this So would man, you, not, would you not do it again? That kind of that particular kind of date, yeah. Uh, probably not. I I think. What do you think made you so nervous? Like, do you think it was oh, it nerves? All, it just all felt bad. Like everything about that. Like mm. first off, just the nerves of like, well, this is my first time having sex, but also just like, not know, like not even knowing this person, not like all of it. I don't know. It just all felt gross and. I mean, I think it was like, at the end of the day, it definitely helped me get over a lot of the hangups I've had about sex my whole life. You think so? Yeah, for sure. Because that was like the thing that was like getting in my way was like growing up religious and being taught that it's like this special sacred thing. And then finally getting to experience how transactional it can be, just how Mm. materialistic it is sometimes and being like, all right, so this isn't. Yeah, sometimes girls just want dinner. Sometimes girls just want dinner, dude. Women want to eat. It's like, yeah. It's like this definitely isn't the monolith that it, that I grew up to believe it is. It's mm. like we're all obsessed with it for sure. Like uh, that's all we talk about in our group chats. How horny we are. On yeah, oh, dude, I'm horny right now. But it's like horny as hell. Dude, it's that's like an if you, It's story. like for me, for me, <laughs> not not <laughs> having cigarette. not having a connection with this person. It, I just couldn't. I just wasn't into it. I was Damn. Like, this fucking sucks. Damn. But I'm like grateful for it, and I I think it'll help me as I navigate the. The world of dating moving mm-hmm. forward. Well, it's good mm-hmm. that you're using it as a product. Like you, you're taking the productive yeah. side of it. You know, because like, you know, it 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 might be. You know, yeah. I think it's good that you're like trying to take the positives away from that kind of thing. Yeah, I never. I mean, I felt gross after. Like, I felt kind of weird after the fact. But I'm like, I don't know. I think it was a good thing. Like, I think it'll. Um. Especially just, like, not having to have that cloud hanging over my head anymore. Yeah, it might make you appreciate when you have, like, an actual relationship. Like, oh, okay, it'll feel less, like, yeah. nerve-wracking. And every woman w- is always so worried that I'm going to, like, fall in love with them. But now I feel, like, so broken. I'll never fall in love. Well, the problem is cool, that it's not, it doesn't count because you didn't come. Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still a virgin? Yeah. Does it No! Not- Joe, what do you think? Does that not count? It does not count. This is like your Twilight Zone ironic no! twist. <laughs> yeah, there was. Uh, I could come now. <laughs> come on, guys. How can you come with a condom? 
You fi- life finds a way. Life finds a way. <laughs> yeah, Dalton. Jurassic bust. <laughs> it's like Welcome. bingo, Dino DNA. <laughs> the in, the oh, inside oh, of a so pussy off. is the inside of a pussy is so much looser than the tight grip of my hand. That's true. Look, it's man, different. you're halfway I've there. I've jerked off with condoms before, and yeah. that feels better than fucking with a condom. Isn't that weird? It's so weird. It's weird. Do you think so? I think fucking with a condom feels better. I hate fucking it. All with sucks. A condom. Yeah, I don't do it. I don't know, man. And if I a just woman asks look, me to, look, sex is yeah. horrible. Sex is bad. It's just weird how we like look at sex because it's like all the girls we know, like when, especially me, like when a friend of mine who's a girl tells me about guys she's fucked, like I Joe, get, like, yeah, like Joe, yeah. yes, like Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I get, I like. Have you told me, Joe about this experience, <clears throat> by the way? Yeah, I have told Joe about this. But it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. That's yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I have. I have told Joe about this. That's right. Yeah, we talked uh, quite a bit, I believe. But it's we- it's weird because it's like when 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 like the women I know tell me about guys they're fucking. Mm-hmm. It used to like, like make Grant me Fisher feel. Like and Christina Hutchinson. Yeah, it used to make me feel weird. It used to make me feel like I didn't measure up. Like, what's wrong with me? Why won't she have sex with me? Mm-hmm. And then you learn like that one and a half inches. Do what? One and a half. One and a half inches. I have a you don't quite measure up. Oh, oh, oh! I have a small penis. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But then you like then when you see it for what it is, you realize like oh, I mean, she's having sex with guys she doesn't like, so she doesn't have to talk to them again. Mm-hmm. Mm. Powerful. Powerful. I don't know. I'm just trying not to feel insecure about it. No, anymore. you shouldn't at all. You shouldn't, dude. You, know? you should be proud of what you it, do. I just, it's better to have loved and so, lost. You take it so personally. <laughs> and you never have loved it at all. I'm just saying, like, sometimes <laughs> sometimes you take it personally when someone yeah. won't fuck you, and it's like, yeah, is that, I don't know, man. Yeah, because you're like, well, why would you fuck this person? Also, it's like, okay, me? yeah, maybe take it. Like, what's, there's no point in taking it personally. Like, everyone's fucking different. So. Yeah, man. All you can do is just like you I know, want some pussy. I have me too, dude. Yeah, I'm sure so there's a little horny. dumpling of a woman out there for you. <laughs> oh, Asian? No, not an Asian woman. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Actually, the first girl I ever hooked up with was Asian. Uh, really? That's yeah. the one you bought dinner for? No, no, no. no. You're well, Asian. Yeah, you're. No, the first girl I ever like loved. Fo- like we didn't have sex, but we made out and like fooled around. I was twenty. Oh, you just had appetizers. We just had appetizers. <laughs> Uh, I probably sh- I probably shouldn't say her name, even though she's back in Texas. Go ahead, say go ahead. May Lee Chow. Ooh, May Lee Chow. <laughs> yeah, I did that joke plenty of times. May Lee Chow. Anyway, we were good friends for a little while after that, even mm-hmm. though uh, she kind of cheated on her. I should not talk about. No, it's got, all right. It's all right, no, dude. The yeah. floodgates are opening, man. Yeah, man. This no, is, we're was, not releasing this episode. It was revealed. Yeah, yeah. We won't release it at all, Dalton. It Don't was worry. revealed to me as we were fooling around mm-hmm. the, at the time. I know I because I don't know wh- where she is in her life right now. But if this gets back to her, it's like it's okay. not like you said her name or anything. Oh Uh-oh. no, Jamie, bleep that out. Jamie, b- J- Jamie, bleep that out. No, I don't know. It just that hurt a lot because like you loved her. We were. I loved her. You loved. Her I now. loved her too. <laughs> Robbie Me, did love her. I loved her a long time. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'll have the uh, May Lee Chow, please. Yeah. Melee, we have no more Melee Chow. Look, I'm not, <laughs> look, hold on. I need to. St- I'm not. What gonna about dwell. Super Smash Brothers Melee Chow? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to dwell on that anymore because I really. <laughs> Your next winner is I Dalton Pruitt. I dwelled on Pruitt. that experience for so long because I did not handle it well, and mm-hmm. it's like I'm a new man. All right, I'm on my meds. Yep. I had. I fucked. Mm-hmm. Do you uh, think you fucked? Like, do you think the meds led you to make this decision? I think it's like a. Con- it's a combination of a lot of things. Are the meds helping? Oh yeah, for sure. I feel great. Oh, good. Cool, man. I don't know. I cried the other day. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just lost a friend. So. Yeah, man. You're going through a lot oh, of shit yeah, right now. Oh, yeah. Shit. Rest I in feel peace. like of the of everyone I read his in the obituary in the Dallas uh, yeah. uh, newspaper. Oh, you read it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was the best. Uh, rest in peace, Clint Worth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seemed like a, seemed like a pretty seemed like a real ass dude if I'm being perfectly frank. He w- he would hate that you said that. He would hate to be associated with a lot of things, mm-hmm. but especially Luis J. Gomez. Why? But uh, he was he was a real salty guy, and he was a bit of a comedy snob. But in a really Who did he good like? way. Uh, he really he actually did really like Louis. I think Louis was probably his biggest thing. I don't want to like. Sure, sorry. We don't speak out of school because mm. I I genuinely I don't know what his influences were. I I do remember him talking about how much he loved Louis at one point. But anyway, he was the best guy ever, and uh, gone too soon. And mm. I finally cried about it. <laughs> 
No. You need to exercise well, that demon, dude. Yeah, dude. That's only that's a, yeah. Not, look, nothing wrong with crying. Yeah, man. I cry all the time. I I would if I was a little kid, but it's cool, dude. And when I watch Legally Blonde, I cry. I'm really? really? I'm really happy for her. <laughs> yeah. People Tears think she's droid. dumb because she's blonde, but she's yeah. actually very smart. She's legally smart. She's legally smart. Yeah. What if she was illegally blonde? That would suck. Mm. That should be like the new movie where it's a brunette. Right. But like the only way to get into Harvard Law yeah. is to be blonde. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm blonde. Damn. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Do you feel like a new man now, Dalton? Kind of, yeah. I think like by the time the quarantine ends, you're going to be like a completely different human I definitely being. feel more confident. Like yeah. I, I'm just not as hung up on it now. So it's like when I'm hanging out. With girls, I'm not just, like, only thinking about, all right, is this woman going to have sex with me mm-hmm. so I'm not a virgin anymore? Mm-hmm. Yeah, now you just think, is this woman going to have sex with me? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Because like, that's what yeah. I always think whenever I see any woman. Mm-hmm. What does a woman have sex Even your mom? Hey, come on, man. I heard she <laughs> sucks a bone. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Damn, man. It's true. You have to admit it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we were we were just talking uh-huh. off. <laughs> yeah, we had some good. We had a great pre-show. We were just talking. You guys could listen to the pre-show. Yeah. We were just talking off mic about that horrifying text message I got. Yeah, yeah. let's Should get we, into it. You yeah, want to talk dude, about? Please, yeah, dude, this is. I've so never funny. Dude, Dalton. Moore, I never saw Dalton more distraught, upset. I think and I honestly, that was like the first time in our long history of friendship <laughs> that I was afraid <laughs> Dalton could could seriously take his own life, dude. I'm I am genuinely upset by this. I, I'm I, so fucking. I stayed mad. up late. I was like looking at the clock because well, you were like, doing cocaine by yourself. Yeah, <laughs> but I was like, damn, dude. I hope Dalton's okay. I better do another I wasn't, line, dude. I was not. I was boiling mad about this. <laughs> I know, dude. Yeah. I was so fucking. Well, it's so upset. funny because yeah. Joe and I found it so funny. No, I can see why. Well, it's I know funny. what you mean because then the exact kind of similar thing happened to me where everyone else registered as a very funny, trivial thing, and I was just like spiraling over it. But well, yeah. I sent it. I showed it to another friend of mine. I showed it to a few people actually, but I showed it to as a, you do. I showed it to a mutual friend of me and the person that sent. What about it. a mutual friend? A juch- I showed it to a mutual <laughs> friend, and he said, uh, "It was Woody Allen." It was Woody Allen. He said, "This little, hey, if you want my advice, uh, have you ever heard of a penny for your thoughts?" <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> advice ain't free, my friend. Yeah. But I sent it to a mutual friend of ours, and he was like, oh, my God, I can't believe you're still talking to her. I he, know. Well, that's what. Um, I told him. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to. I'm going to have to put some distance between us. I mean, that's the minute. thing. It's like at a certain point, And look, she's a friend of mine, too. Joe. But. Uh, yeah. J- what? I mean, at this point, we should just say her All name. All right. It's, yeah. Lauren. it's, it's Lauren. Lauren. It's Lauren. Yeah. It's, it's goddamn Lauren, man. She, yeah. I, mean, oh, I feel like a huge weight off my <laughs> chest. <laughs> has been lifted by finally being able to say the name of this woman who has consumed all of our existence for untold this years. This woman you've dude. never met. This person I never met and, and have no emotional investment in whatsoever. <laughs> but finally, her name rings throughout the halls, dude. The nightmare is over. I feel like I oh, I feel like I've finally taken a step into a much better world. <clears throat> Lauren. Yeah. You so no longer have control over me. I mean, if she listens to this, she's I mean, she's going to be pissed. She's going to be boiling mad. I genuinely don't know how to address to her at, like like why that upset me cuz anytime I bring shit like that up to her, well, she'll she'll rehash yeah. old arguments and You, you got to tell the audience what she said, man. I yeah, I'm getting to it. Oh, they, but it's this, it's but like anytime I try to st- like stand up for myself she rehashes old arguments and then i'm the one apologize like <laughs> and somehow i'm like hey this thing you said hurt me and then five minutes later i'm like i'm so sorry i can't believe i did that to you and i'm like wait why am i apologizing yeah right right <laughs> you got the, you, the old duck season rabbit season yeah, dude. <laughs> so what what she said and this was out of nowhere we were not talking about this at all just out of nowhere she was like oh my gosh have you seen love on the spectrum and i guess I, it, you guys, have y'all watched that show? Uh, I've watched clips. Apparently, a so lot of female like, friends of mine really like it. It's I, like this new show yeah. about autistic people who've never dated before, trying to like figure out how to date. And so she sends me this text. And she goes, "Oh my gosh, have you seen Love on the Spectrum?" And I go, "No, but I keep hearing about it." And she goes, "I think it would inspire you. Imagine <laughs> how hard dating is for them." I think you'd see a lot in, of yourself in this show, doll. Yeah, she's yeah. well. That, yeah, she said, "I think it would inspire you." Imagine how hard dating is for them, but they still put themselves out there. Uh, yeah. And I'm just like, what a fuck? 
This is so demeaning. <laughs> so, yeah. It's such a shitty thing Don't to say. Don't angry. Doing. Well, what, what's I'm funny so is I see where she's coming yeah. from. Devil's advocate. I mean, we all see where she's coming. I, 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 <laughs> I mean, it sucks that like you confessed that you had feelings for this woman, <laughs> and she's like, "Hey, so look here. Here's what I think would help you out. Take some inspiration from these uh, autistic people, who, because uh, you know they really remind me of you. And if they can do it, you can do it. Like that. That is like demeaning. And it's so like demeaning. It it hurts because it's like not only does this person not see me as a sexual object, the first thing she saw that reminded me of her in a romantic light was watching retards date you know what i mean oh like, yeah that's like no it fucking hurt dude i'm i'm like genuinely like really upset by that Damn. <laughs> and it's, i'm trying i do watch that show and i i do kind of get because have you you seen it now i haven't seen it i'm not gonna i can't you gotta, watch you gotta it now. tell her like hey baby the only thing retarded about me is the size of my car <laughs> <laughs> this dick ain't retarded <laughs> It's retarded huge. <laughs> I guess she's not coming on the show now. <laughs> yeah, she will, dude. Uh, yeah. Just show her your massive retarded penis. She's actually penis. scheduled for next week. Yeah. Are you serious? No, I haven't scheduled oh, her. Okay. <laughs> but, but wasn't that the plan? I yeah. guess. I mean. No, she's doing the podcast because she has to redeem herself. It's like, Lauren, thank you so much for being on the show. Why do you think Dalton is retarded? Right, right. Yeah. It's like, it's like, damn, this guy really gets to the fucking heart of the matter. <laughs> Re-re-redemption. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that definitely that definitely stung, and I'm like, damn, much like a bee. Yeah, it it f- that that's humili. I mean, that's just humiliating. Yeah, it's it's dehuman. It's dehumanizing to say you're retarded. Much like an animorph. It's yeah. not. It's Can not you that- imagine an animorph cover of a kid becoming retarded? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you flip the t- you flip the pages, yeah. and he has like blocks around, like <laughs> like building blocks and Legos and shit. <laughs> Yeah, I um choose your own adventure, but half the time it's like goosebumps, but you just turn retarded. Turn retarded. <laughs> Oops, you're retarded. Yeah, the end. The end. The Oops, so you're retarded. You suddenly know a lot about trains. The end. Yeah. <laughs> you spend the next forty years counting jelly beans in jars. Oops, all tards. Oops, all tards. So mm. yeah, I'm in a bad mood. I'm, I'm gonna be sorry. terrible on this episode. No, dude, this is actually already pretty good. Already better than the last couple. I just don't We're know. I don't. I genuinely don't know how to stand up for myself yeah. and be like, yo, you can't say shit well, like that to me. to be fair, uh, that doesn't help your argument because autistic people also have trouble standing up by themselves. That's true, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I need Velcro shoes and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Me. Well, that does suck. But yeah, dude, it sucks to be retarded. Yeah, I think she was trying to help. From like, it was like in a the nice, evil she way. She wasn't trying to like take a shot at you or anything like that. It's still humili. It's still demeaning. It's yeah. it's like, could you imagine if I if I hit her up and it was like, hey, have you seen Love After Lockup? <laughs> It's like, imagine how hard it is for them to maintain <laughs> these, a relationship. These dumb whores, really. Even they can find love. Yeah, it's like. If you seen Love After Lockup, imagine how hard it is for them to maintain a relationship, but they can make it last longer than a couple months, so you should be able to. Okay, but here's the thing. She was saying you're not retarded, so that's good. Yeah. She's saying I'm worse than retarded, because no, 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 they're no. dating. She's saying like, there's no excuse for you to be alone, because if these retarded people can find love, then you can absolutely find love. Yeah. Did you hear what you just said? Yeah, yeah. I said you're smarter than the average retard. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking humiliating. They're the Yogi it's Bear retard. It's a terrible yabba thing, dabba dude. do you it's have ter- any toys? <laughs> Hold on. It's a terrible thing to hear. From anybody to hear about yourself. I did not enjoy it. I don't care. Her, yeah, her intentions were good, but the delivery was awful. I'm upset. I'm mad. That's how I felt about my lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Bad delivery, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn, dude. So she'll be on the show next week. Yeah, I can't wait. Good episode. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of into this lady the more I hear about yeah, her. Yeah, she's kind of hot. She seems like uh, alluring. But, like, I only know about her through, like, these, like, you know, secondhand stories. So I feel like it's, like, some kind of romantic comedy where it's like, damn, she only knows about me through secondhand stories. I only know about her through secondhand stories. Well, you know what? It's kind of like you're reading a novel about a woman. You're yeah, like, exactly. I mean, somebody's <laughs> reading a novel to me about a woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the grandpa in a never-ending story. Yeah. And I, I'm little fucking <laughs> Fred Savage. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I don't want to hear Bride. a story. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Oh in many gosh. ways, Lauren is the Princess Bride, Ooh. and you're the big Andre the Giant. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> physique. Anybody want a peanut? I don't know that much about that movie. Good ass movie. Anybody want a penis? That's Ooh. a movie that's weirdly everyone seems to love, but I just don't. It I is, don't get it's it. It's a great movie. I don't really get why people. Did like you watch it, so it when much. you were a kid? Yeah, I, did. I think I watched it in like 
a middle school. That's too old. Yeah. You got to be like a kid. I also don't like fantasy very much. Weird. Never have. Weird. Yeah. You like mantises. I do. I like manatees. You like manatees. <laughs> what, your, fun your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Folks. <laughs> hey Wow, we are firing on all <laughs> cylinders. Yeah, the, rain in, the rain isn't stopping us, man. Yeah. yeah. There's a thunderstorm in here. Yeah. True. Snap, crackle, pop. Damn. God right. damn, I'm so upset. Why are you I'm so upset? Why is this? I'm this sad. shouldn't be You're upsetting g- you so much. Yeah, it's dude. I mean, so like, upsetting. Why, dude? Beca- I, because that's humiliating. I'll get over it. Just hum- It's a humiliating thing for it someone is, to say it to is. It is. It it's is. tough. But that's why you don't yeah. keep texting people you have a crush on. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't have a crush on anymore. How can I have feelings for someone who talks to me like that? <laughs> <laughs> Me thinks doth still horneth for. Oh, I'm definitely horny, <laughs> brother. I'm horny. I think we're all horny. I'm horny. Yeah, yeah we're all horny in yeah. this room. Friend of the show told us to stop saying we're horny on the cast. Well, we got to double down, man. Yeah. Look, if being horny is a crime, I've said it before. If being horny is a crime. Why don't you strap me to the fucking electric chair? Yeah, you know, I said this Ooh. while watching the reading the Harvey Weinstein case. Look, if that's rape, then lock me up, buddy. <laughs> God. <laughs> Got him. Got him. All right, folks. All Uh, right. So what else? So what are you gonna do? Have you talked to her since? You let her know. No, I haven't. Did you write her a note in Crayola? I'm just gonna. (laughs) 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 You sent her an episode of Thomas the Tank Engine where Thomas feels betrayed by a friend. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I don't even think autistic people do this stuff. We're just. I mean, I guess they like. I assume. (laughs) We just assume. Based on our incredibly limited knowledge. Autistic people, I start, are, autistic people are actually like highly smart. <laughs> I, start, like, I start stroking her hair and accidentally snap her neck. <laughs> <laughs> My dove, you lo- Oh, no. Think about the pussy, Dalton, as, <laughs> I, as I almost shoot you. Tell <laughs> about the pussy, George. <laughs> Tell about the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Oh, Damn, dude. Of pussy and men. Of pussy and men. <laughs> <laughs> that book was dumb. Of wives and men. <laughs> Um, I love that book. What are you really? kidding me? I've only seen. The I movie was like, I was the... like, damn, dude, he should have fucking left Lenny a long ass time ago. Sounds like another uh, friendship that should have ended. Yeah. a long time. Ago. <laughs> yeah, so you're dude. gonna kill Lauren. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. What just... about John Seinfeld instead of Seinbeck? Seinbeck. John Seinbeck. Okay. We all gotta go to California. <laughs> <laughs> These grapes have so much wrath. <laughs> Damn, I just want to say the N word. <laughs> say it, Dalton. I can't. You I, want to? There can't be audio or or any footage. You've of me. said it multiple name times name off the air. Name dude. one person we personally know that got fired from SNL for saying something on a pot. Name even one person. Look, if we ever get a little Patreon going, a little Ooh. premium episode, Ooh. we're saying the N word. How about a Gatreon? Okay, and that's your. Sub- that's well, I've already, I've already made to... that joke about you. Oh yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> This is the Damn, this is the Robbie cl- stole another fucking Dalton Robbie joke right in front of Dalton right to Dalton. Right in front of me, dude. Oh, uh, no. Damn, dude. That's two jokes this week. I'm sorry. <laughs> I is, is, is Robbie Goodwin, the most controversial New York comedian's act, actually written by an autistic savant? That would be funny. <laughs> if Dalton... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Don, you're just my ghostwriter, and you don't know it. <laughs> Incredible spin. Maybe I'm autistic. Who That's knows? That's fine if you are. I'm still a human being. <laughs> you can't whoa, t- whoa, 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 hey. Whoa. I have, I have a, I took a eugenics class. Do you have class. any toothpicks? Bring them in here and dump them on the floor. Yeah. I'm still a human being. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the defense. I'm not an animal. <laughs> the elephant man. I'm a human being. <laughs> He was just autistic. <laughs> Tom is the elephant man. Oh, uh, fuck. Would, I, <laughs> w- would a retarded person say I'm still a human being? <laughs> oh, my God. I really... I kind of... <laughs> I'm sorry, Dalton. Dalton, we love you. We I should you. not have shared that text. I should have just bottled that up. <laughs> Dude. Pushed it deep okay. down. As much as... It's... It sucks because I do feel bad for you as a friend. I'm inclined to really defend you and say, yeah, it's fucked up. I mean, it's, it's fucking – it sucks that your feelings were hurt especially. Mm-hmm. But it's also so funny. It's, it's inc- funny. It's, yeah. it's so fun. I've, it's funny yeah, how dude. oblivious she was – well, that's to think that that's like a helpful. I thing think that's to the say. sense of the hu- that's a sense of humor. That's like me. where the funniest like, part I of it comes from. I can't believe someone said yeah. that. I can't. Yeah, I can't believe she thought that was helpful. Because it's yeah. already to be like, yo, have you seen this show about retards trying to date? 
this might help you. Yeah, it'll be it'll be better if she was like, oh, you know, they really inspire me. Even if she said something like that first, mm-hmm. like you know, they inspire me because blank 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 blank. But to just say straight up, hey, this could help you out. Uh, it could be a good manual for you. The show about retards dating. Yeah, that oh was a very. God. That was probably the greatest thing I read on Facebook Messenger in a while. Yeah, it really maybe because I was like. She didn't really. She can't have said that. Yeah. Dalton, can I see a screenshot? And she straight up said <laughs> it. <laughs> I was I was in disbelief. Uh, it's crazy. It th- shit like that almost makes me feel like is like she what? is she fucking with me? <laughs> like is no. That- well, that was what was also funny was I could tell she was trying to help. Yeah. Like it was like, it's like a concerned parent, like a kid's like crying and like oh no, and then she like chloroforms the kid or something to get him to right. stop crying. You know right. what I mean? Well, it's that like, that's what bothers me the most is it like shit like that. It's like okay, it's obvious that you don't see me as an equal. Like you see me as that. A child. That's where I saw you. I was that's, like, that that's, was that's what would. And I think that's that's the issue. Is she, I think she does kind of see you as a kid. Yeah, yeah. And if, if a that's, retarded if, kid. If the, <laughs> oh, not even a good kid. Yeah, even, not even yeah. like a regular, but like not even like not a even like a hot kid. kid you want to? You could be yeah. like, oh man, girl, damn. It's like it's my, like my son gets so much pussy. Yeah, which dude. I would take so much pride in. <laughs> Do you think you'd be happy if your son fucked a lot of people? Of yeah, of course. Dude, what about cool. your daughter? No, I'd fucking fucking no, beat her if ass I had, if yeah. I found that. If my out, daughter was fucking a lot in. Yeah, dude. I'd send her to the fucking hog. Yeah. The Hague. Your hog. My hog. <laughs> yeah, breaking them in. to my hog. That's really what, honestly, all these socialists who talk about Hague, they really just got to get laid. They really just want, they really want these people to be sent to their hog. But I'm, dude, my thing is like, if, if I'm in, if I, if I'm in a friendship where it's that uneven, mm-hmm. where it's like, oh, you see me as a child. I don't, like, I don't know how, that's just not healthy. That, no, like, it's that not. No, it's sucks. not a friendship. Especially, yeah. dude, that's a, that's it's honestly a, like a yeah. weird, because you have a crush on her, at least did, maybe you're over it. I did. At one you still time. do, and that's why you talk to her, and that's why you're so hurt by this. Yeah. Dude. So you had a crush on her, and she's, she sees you as a kid. So yeah. like the, it's not even like it's not even when you're friend zoned, you're child zoned. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you're auto zoned. <laughs> Again, the zone. <laughs> auto zone. Oh, speaking of which, hey, check out this cool shirt I just got. I just got all these Simpsons merch from Vans. <laughs> that's awesome, yeah, man. Dude. It's a tie dye with auto on it. Oh, How cool hell is yeah. that? Party hard. Yeah, that's dude, cool. I gotta. I'm gonna. I might have to take up smoking weed again to wear this shirt. Because <laughs> auto smoked weed, right? No, he was straight edge. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Ten fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's wrong, Dalton? I'm sorry, Let's talk. Dalton. We could. We're gonna talk. No, Dalton. Do you have anything more to say to get off? I'm I don't just wanna, fucking. I, I can see you're in distress. I'm a, well, I'm upset about it, and it's. I'm just like reconsidering this whole friendship. Re-reconsidering. <laughs> I'm re-reconsidering. <laughs> I'm just like because it's like if you see me as a, like if you, I can't keep being treated like a child. Like that, that's yeah. the thing is it's like we'll have her on the show. We'll, what we'll, if she we'll was like? What if? It, what, okay. Would Would you rather she treat you like a normal child or an adult retarded man? Ooh, that's a good what that's a good would you rather. Uh I'd rather be treated like an adult retard. Yeah, I think everyone would like to be treated like an adult retard. Yeah. I would. That'd be great. You get fucking yeah. snacks. And you, like usually me, you have give me people still have sex with like a retarded adult. Yeah. Well you see, I feel like retarded people are just so much uh happier. happier yeah. but, uh, except when they get sad, then they're way sadder and yeah. way more angry. They don't know what's going on. And yet. they got that that strength, that terrifying strength. My, my, I'll tell you what my problem is in all of this is I'm like, I have like abandonment issues or something. Because I've been so worried about like, because I've had people like stop being friends with me before. Same. And it like hurts. Not me, man. Thank God I've, we'll never break up this podcast. Friends yeah. for life, dude. But I'm I, a friend I've, for life for, I've never, people, that's the only way they stop being my friends if they die. I've been so worried really? about. Uh, That's awesome. <laughs> uh oh. Wait, what? What? What'd you say? Oh, don't worry about it, Dalton. Joe's left a trail of dead bodies around his friends. Is what he's trying to oh, say. Okay, yeah. but my thing is, <laughs> like, I've been so worried about her possibly like cutting ties with me or stop like Damn. ending our friendship that I just haven't ever stood up for myself. And the se- any time I've tried to, any time I've tried to be like, yo, you can't say shit like that, I buckle immediately as soon as she gets kind of upset about it. And that's why she sees me as a kid, because I've never fucking had a backbone around her. So it's like, uh, yeah, I'm either I'm going to have to, like, just not worry about losing her as a friend and actually, like, 
take care of him. I need to like tell her like, yo, you can't talk to me like this. Send her a nude, dude. Be like, does I'm little... going to send her a picture of my penis. Yeah, does the little boy have this? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a really small penis. <laughs> <laughs> like, that looks like something the little boy would have exactly. <laughs> and child's shoes on. <laughs> Velcro shoes. I mean, if she listens to this, the friendship's over. No, it's oh, not, dude. dude. Well, every friendship goes through this. Also, you guys have been through worse. Weird. Yeah, dude. Know? Well, the problem is she keeps bringing that up. Any fucking time I like tell her, like, hey, this thing you said hurt me. Yeah. She's like, well, do you remember the thing you said two years ago? And I'm like, yeah, for which I've already apologized Did many you times. That? You say you should be like, look, bitch, I want an apology. And I'm going to kiss it out of I just want to be treated. <laughs> I want to be treated like a fucking adult. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about something else. Y'all see that foot pic that's making the rounds on Twitter? <laughs> What's going on with that? Not my feet. Joyce Carol Oates. Oh. What happened with her? She, like, went hiking and walked through some poison or some what shit. What an idiot. And she posted a picture of her foot, and it looks fucked up, dude. Good. It and does. Every, it's actually worse than what you've it's been It's worse than my foot. I can't foot. believe you. I was like, Dalton, this is so horrible gross uh a social behavior and then a very famous person did exactly what you were doing yeah i told you guys i was right i w- I knew it the whole time that i was right it's okay to post pictures of your really gross feet i don't think so man she's getting dragged for it <laughs> yeah yeah people are very upset with her <laughs> like, what the hell is wrong with you yeah. like why would you do that i mean i i know it, it just makes people uncomfortable makes me uncomfy yeah uh all right anything else on that uh, no, I mean, I'm going to keep posting pictures of my foot for sure. Damn. Uh, I don't care. Dude, I'm setting fire to everything. I'm fucking. Why? I, I'm at my wits end, dude. Why? I can't live like this anymore. What? What? what but seriously, why? Why am I? Why, why are you at your wits end? Why can you no longer live with this? Has it just been like everything that's been happening? Or I've been, co- I've been trapped in my apartment for six months. We've all been I trapped have in our apartment. muscular dude. dystrophy. We all have muscular dystrophy, dude. Shut up, Joe. Shut up. <laughs> Stop dismissing everything I say by saying you also. We all have our shit dismissed, dude. (laughs) (laughs) It feels—it just feels like I'm getting shit on by everything. I'm I'm like having all these health problems. I can't go anywhere. I don't know how to like. I don't know what to do. And then the my best friend tells me I should watch a show about retards. I never said you should watch a show. (laughs) Oh. Well, now I'm pretty upset too. <laughs> One of my finding best out I don't I don't have a best friend. Sorry, dude. sorry. No, best, no, 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 it's wait, fine. Wait, wait, wait. This is the Dalton wait, wait, wait. show, dude, where Dalton talks about his problems, and it doesn't matter that somebody just found out they don't have a best friend. Joe, hold on. My best female. Friend. <laughs> oh, phew, dude. Yeah, you were my best. That was friend. close. Yeah. Rob, Robbie is gay. <laughs> what? what I wanted to dismiss shit. I'm not being punished. I didn't. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being gay, dude. You want to have a gay man as your best friend? <laughs> oh no. A homophobe? Actually, no. You're my best gay friend. <laughs> Joe is my best friend, and Lauren is my best female friend. It all worked out, man. It all worked. Wait a minute. I'm gay? (laughs) What a happy ending, dude. I Uh, love a happy ending. This is a real fairy tale. (laughs) And they all lived happily ever after. This is the real princess, bro. Except Robbie, who was persecuted for being gay. (laughs) Hello, my name is I'm Gay Montoya. (laughs) You fucked my father. You fucked (laughs) Prepare to die. Of AIDS. (laughs) I'm yeah, I'm gonna sit back <laughs> while I let the disease yeah, overtake yeah. you. I'm just going to let nature run its course. Uh-oh. I'm losing you. We're losing Joe. Uh-oh. He was just making a salient point, and we lost him. Joe, yeah. we lost you at two wolves. What? Ha- what are the two wolves? Yeah. What happened to the wolves? Oh, did I, what, they cut out. I told the whole story. My sh- my <laughs> internet connection sucks. Dude. Anyway, I'm so gonna, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Me and. Me and Robbie were a couple of wolves on the prowl yeah. on Saturday. And we got into a scuffle. We got into a little woman. We did. No, not even. <laughs> right. No, no. Well, it, not over a woman, but we were both talking to a woman, and it was the disaster you'd expect. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it so, dude, it was so funny because, like, you said what you said, and then I started to act as if I was horrified, just jokingly. Well, that's here's the thing. Yeah, I I said something that 
and I it, I meant it as a joke, and it was funny. It was, I mean, but I can see why what I said made that person like uncomfortable. And then she said that, and I was like, oh, geez, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. As, as I was like floundering to try and explain and apologize, Don was like, Robbie, Robbie, you're shut up, dude. Like, just like really going into like really fucking selling me down Double the river. Down. I'm like, Don, you're supposed to fucking you have my back here, dude. Yes, it, yeah. that's exactly how I felt. What happened, I felt, what happened I felt to the loud cornered boys and bullied. Down. Dude, yeah. well, what, what was funny is loud like, boys ride together and they build each other up when it comes that's, to that's that's a thing procuring pussy that that Joe put it well and look I did overreact at Dalton as you'll soon as Dalton dude, sure what you desperate did. to tell you <laughs> dude your reaction was so funny because I felt <laughs> cornered and fucking no, bullied no Robbie Robbie you're right I fucked up I shouldn't have re I, I there was a better way to respond to what was happening than what I did which <laughs> Which was like almost faint. I was like, "Oh my word, yeah. <laughs> young man, no way to talk to a nice young lady like this here." Yeah. And the thing is, I didn't. I think I just didn't. Re I didn't register that you were trolling, and I think I was just like, "How could my friend just sell me out this bad?" <laughs> like Dude, just, well, I, and then you, and then you had been drinking. And I think you'd also smoked weed, maybe done some poppers, and you you were in you were rare you were ready to fight, dude. And you you squared up to me, and you like karate chopped my chest, and you're like, dude, what? The I kind of like, I didn't really, yeah, I was, I was like doing, I was like doing the slap, like what the fuck, dude? Uh, but you, it wasn't like you, a hit, <laughs> you hit with like the side of your, it was like a karate chop, and I was like, damn, I better back off for Robbie. I didn't know he's been training at the dojo. Damn. All right. Well, I look, in my defense, like, Don. Yeah, I don't like this at all. I'm terrified to hear this. In my defense, no. Don, you were being a fucking, there, a fucking dickhead, dude. I'm, I'm not I kidding. Mean, I was Dalton, like, actually, Dalton, you really were. It sounds like you, you really, you really. I overreacted. I, I shouldn't have gotten that like mad because I kept being like, "What are you doing?" And then you kept like doubling down and being like, "You're being an idiot." <laughs> so I didn't. I didn't. I literally had, had no idea. I was like, "Well, dude, what the fuck did I say?" I was like, if, if, "I was like, Joe Dalton's not <laughs> even." I was like, Dalton's not even registering how furious I am right now. So I think Dude, that's what it was. Joe would have loved that level of trolling, just like doubling, tripling. Yeah, dude, well, I, I was like, excited like, to I see. To I was excited to see Dalton. Women, I was excited to see Dalton, and he was kind of acting like an asshole all night. I'm not kidding, <laughs> dude. Because because uh, Luke asked Dalton, and he was like, "Hey, how's the show?" Which I was on, yeah. and Dalton was like, "Terrible." And Dalton, I was like, "What?" what the hell, and then dude? I was like, "Like, well, I was good, right?" And Dalton just stared at me. Oh, <laughs> right, that was up, fucking dude. mean I that was I'm... really mean and then you, and it's like for it was already rude to bad mouth the show is on right in front of me and then to just not even like give me fucking anything come on yeah, dude for... and All then right, like I'll... yeah don got there I'll... and he was in like a he was like in a mania or something it was like hard to talk to him what's going on Dalton? I, I, I assume maybe he was just extremely high but it was just it was not a pleasant night out with dalton my night oh, out with man. joe on the other hand was very fun i feel bad dude <laughs> Dalton, you really got to like learn how to be a cool hang, like old. I guess, like old, constantly drunk Joe Gorman. When I Joe Gorman so. is like constantly drunk, it's like it's it's just a fucking party, dude. I mean, I've Going been getting, I, I've been smoking a lot of weed lately. I thought that would mellow me Switch out. It up to boozy booze, dude. No. Uh oh. No. Maybe maybe you got to be Look. completely fucking sober like an adult, Dalton. No. You can handle a little bit of substance. It dude, was I it like was a bad. It was a bad combo because I was I had been drinking like too much for sure. And Dal I think it was just like a bad combo. Oh no. Yeah. Oh well. No, I'm oh, taking well, it easy on the booze for a while. Yeah. Dalton, I really I really do think you should you should stop doing marijuana because I, I'm terrified of who you become when you're high. No, really it's fine. Have. It's just it's just it, it I don't think it was the weed on Dalton's part. It was just a bad it was just kind of like I don't know. I think I think you were in a mood. I was in a mood, and it was like uh, it was it was a clash of the titans. And I was excited well, to see you, but it was just like, God damn, dude! Why Dalton's were you in a mood, Dalton? Dickhead. What? Why were you in a mood? I didn't realize I was in a mood. It must have been. I don't know. I just gotten back from my parents. I might have still been. Did you want stressed? To, were you angry about? Or you, were you, was it stressful with your parents? Oh yeah. You just wanted to blow off some steam, huh? Yeah, I was. I think I was just carrying a lot of tension yeah. with me that night. You probably just came out of the gate a little hard because it was your first chance to really break loose, huh? 
Oh yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a little bit more sense. In well, the moment, I was just it, like, "What the yeah. fuck is up with Dalton right now?" Jesus Dude, I Christ! Felt, I felt so weird that night. Like, I definitely did not feel. I felt I was feeling pretty off. Also, this this strain of weed is not getting me that high. Oh, I'm you know what happened? I know what happened when Dalton on the plane ride home. This guy was sitting in Dalton's chair. I also really didn't oh. want to talk about. I also didn't really want to talk about this, and Dalton just brought it up. So. Oh, I didn't know you didn't say you didn't want. To, oh, fuck, dude. I'm. Well, Robbie and I had f- a fun Thanksgiving hang. We went to Katz's Deli. We we party. Yeah, we, we went to Katu's uh, fr- friends giving. Yeah, we. It, it yeah. truly was like weirdly the light in the dark, and I wouldn't have guessed who who was who would have been who <laughs> in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would not have guessed I would have a carefree fun night with Joe and a, a dark trolled night with Tom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maybe I'm uh, just setting you up for a greater fall later. I don't know. <laughs> the ultimate troll. I would say yeah, no. Uh, I mean, I, I maybe I'm focusing on the negatives. I would say I, I mostly had fun with Dalton on on Saturday. Dude, we did poppers together. I know my first time doing poppers, which yeah. I regret. I'm never I'm never doing those ever again. Oh, uh, don't say that. Yeah. Well, dude, Robbie and I, we just had a couple of beers and called it a night, dude. It was it was pretty <laughs> mellow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was chill. Yeah. Just a couple of brewskis. We watched the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade highlights. We, we did a couple, of, a couple oh, of hit songs. We... I just got back from Georgia. How was it? It was a blast, dude. I love seeing my parents. You know, I just love visiting my family. Oh God, the weed is family, taking hold. <laughs> family, family is everything. You know, you go through this life, you wonder, what, what, why do I have all these problems? And then yeah. you look at your parents, you go, oh, that's why. So your parents are the cause of your problem, and not your own action. It's nothing to do with me. It's none of it's my fault. Nah. It's purely my parents. No, I'm. It was nice. I enjoyed Georgia. I like the South. <clears throat> it's like you know char- it's charming it reminds me of my youth um and they are just they're carefree right now down there like they don't care about covid at all no one wears the masks i shouldn't be here right now honestly when i was coughing earlier it's because i contracted covid19 at an, uh the old times all you can eat southern buffet but it was worth it it was a good buffet <laughs> we went to an all you can eat buffet and I chowed down for Thanksgiving. Mm. It was nice, man. I don't know. South was good, but I suppose I should talk about... What was the best food that you ate there? Was it the buffet? Um, What was the best food I... I'm... <laughs> Honestly, my mom fried fish one night. Ooh. She made these hush puppies that I was like, damn, these these are the best hush puppies I've ever eaten. These are really good. So probably my mom's hush puppies. <laughs> what is George's like food though? What is- it's it's just like soul food, man. It's like <clears throat> greens, oh, fuck. Brunswick stew. Should we get soul food? Where is it? I don't know. Um, now nah, let's get German. Food. We 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 should commit to the German. But I I don't know. It was weird. Go- I because I. Because I was born in Georgia, but I grew up in Texas. I haven't been. In... You merely adopted the South. <laughs> yeah, I was born in Georgia. I was born in Georgia. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but so it was interesting going back to Georgia because I I don't go there too often, and it definitely brought me. I felt like a kid again because I was like, oh yeah, this is where I spent like the first seven years of my life. You remember anything from the first seven years of your life? Yeah, or? I mean, I remember some stuff. I I do remember. I don't remember shit from when I was a kid. Wait, what's your earliest memory, dude? Honestly, like, yeah, I, I guess I have like a few memories, but like, I first like really, I don't remember anything, man. Maybe I when honestly, I, maybe, maybe when I was like, honestly, like seven or eight. My first memory was seventeen, getting my dick sucked. Yeah, dude, that's because really, that was when life, life started. Yeah, life begins. Every, <laughs> Does anyone remember the start of their life? Yeah, I certainly do. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I mean, if everything it's... before that's a long ass preface to yeah. the, yeah, dude. I mean, that that's really just like a, a long ass, yeah. yeah that's everything just, before that yeah. is just a long historian prefacing Huck Finn. Every- and I'm trying to get to chapter one when he says the N word. Yeah, dude. I mean, like, <laughs> if, if those are the rules, then I guess my life started like five months ago. Yeah. <laughs> a Russian immigrant sucked my dick with a condom on. That's cool, dude. Man. I gotta get a prostitute. Yeah, dude. Why? 
Maybe. You should lease one. You don't need a prostitute. Just be cool, yeah. dude. Is there a pro- is there like a Spotify there for should hookers? Be, you should, what if you, you like you just subscribe? What if you lease like a weak man's child? So you lease a simp's son. <sighs> Damn, Robbie, you're gonna hurt your back stretching. It's not a stretch. It's just very clever. <laughs> it's very clever. <laughs> yeah. Uh. What were we talking? Oh, Georgia. Yeah, dude. The South rocks, but well, I, uh, the big event that I was messaging you guys about was I, because I, I'm like trying not to drink right now. And I get there and my dad is trying to be like a cool dad. So he's like, man, I, I wish there was a way for you to get you some weed to smoke because I know you like smoking weed. Oh. And then. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and I should have just flown with my vape cartridge. I chickened out at the last minute after I told you repeatedly that it was fine. Yeah, I just I bitched out because I <laughs> I'm scared of I'm scared t- of that, too. I'm should you not do TSA. that? No, it's fine, dude. But so I thought you'll be. I, hmm. And so the first few days there, I guess you could just buy it in California, though. You can easily buy it in California. <laughs> and it'll be way better. <laughs> and it's easy to take it back, too. It's easy to fly. Yeah, I get delivery. I don't want to, like, I'm going to be, like, basically, I mean, it's locked down as hell over there. Mm. Um, But the the first free few days down there, it was, like, nothing was going on. I wasn't drinking or smoking or doing anything. My dad, you know, my dad drinks a lot, so he was blacking out you know <laughs> and then one night we get my dad gets a text from his call cu- you're you're about every time you describe your home life it, it's like a harmony corinne movie or something <laughs> it's, it's, i don't know who that is harmony corinne harmony corinne yeah the director was was there what's his gummo her? spring breakers uh beach bum kids you you haven't you know who Harmony Corinne is? Yeah, you know, it's no. just like those really uncomfortable movies. That yeah, show Corinne Fisher. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Where it's like, yeah. Oh, you you think life in New York is cool? Well, look, people have fucking drug problems and have to do weird yeah. sexual. It's things. It's just like the underbelly of humanity that yeah. just make that uh, unsettles you a little. Yeah, bit. Yeah, it's like you have a you have a terrifying life, Dalton. Oh. And Robbie and I can only make sense of it by associating it with a a fictional movie, a world completely removed from our own, because we go back to to regular lives. Oh. Outside cool. of the south. Sorry, so your dad was blacking out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so my dad was blacking out. And then one night, he gets a text from his nephew, who I guess is my cousin. But he's like he's like a nephew, but it's weird because he's like a year older than my dad. But anyway, he gets a text from my, my cousin, and my cousin's like, hey, it's my birthday. Why don't y'all come spend some time with me? I got plenty of beer, and I got weed. And my dad was like, hey, he's got weed. Do you want to drive three hours to go to his birthday? And I was like, sure. And so we, we go to his house. And mind you, he says his birthday. And we get there, and he's by himself. And <laughs> Oh, my he, God, yeah. dude. And I stand by my earlier statement about it being a harmony. Dude, career. it's yeah. gotten, like, it's more so now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is actually the part where I turn off the film yeah, and start like, watching... Ah. It's like I gotta watch a Disney movie to cleanse the yeah. power. And by the I'm by watch, the way, I'm gonna watch Family Guy. By the <laughs> way, by the way, it's his birthday. He's by himself, and this guy has four daughters. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oof. and and Oof. so okay, so get this. So when I knew him, I haven't seen him in probably like a decade. And when I knew him as a kid, and the last time I saw him, he was like a jolly big fat guy. We get there, and he comes out. Wait, was it Santa? It was Santa. It was Mel Gibson. <laughs> No, we so we get there. And, I am the fat man, and he comes out, and I was I didn't recognize him. He's like emaciated, dude. Oh. He's he is like he's like probably like six foot three and down to like a hundred and forty pounds. Whoa, it's crazy Whoa. how thin he's gotten. And nice. so this what was good for him? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, what great. I was told is he he got <laughs> yeah, he looks awesome. What I was told is he had gotten some surgery mm-hmm. and it was like botched and it fucked up his esophagus. Oh, and so he hasn't been able to like eat really, and so he's just like losing a ton of weight. And and so we get there. Colin, you never had a chance. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and we get there, and he he's like, "Okay, well, welcome everybody." And immediately he starts making us like do chores. He's like, I need you to cut up some firewood for me. And I'm like, motherfucker, I didn't come here to work. And so he's like handing me his rusty saws on. Like, Start trimming this tree. I'm like, all right, dude. And then after a while, everybody's been, everybody's drunk as shit. And I'm like, I was like, 
cousin, do you have any weed? And he's like, all right, yeah, 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 come on, come in my room. He takes me in his room where his blanket was a Confederate flag. <laughs> and <laughs> he... And people wonder how Trump's America started. Yeah, and, and so he brings me in this room, and he's like, all right, so everything that happens in here is just things between you and me. Don't be telling your mom and daddy about this. I'm like, all right. And he goes, all right, so what what drugs do you like? I was like, I just want, I just want weed, man. He goes, all right, well, hey, let me check this out. And he starts rummaging, <laughs> he starts rummaging through all the shit, and he grabs a, a Ziploc bag and throws it on the bed, and it's, like, filled with fentanyl patches. Oh. God, and ew. he's like, "Hey, check that out!" And I'm like, "That's cool, man. That's, that's not. I just want weed." And he's like, "All right, well, I got, I got Roxy's, I got Oxy's, I got Lore tabs. I think I got some Adderall." <laughs> oh like, my god! Oh, you should got some Adderall, dude. That's yeah. cool. Hey, I don't know, if he, but he's just pulling out all these pills like Oxy's, Roxy's, <laughs> Lore tabs, the law, dude. Where does he get this stuff? <laughs> I don't know. And then he he's like, so what what do you what do you have? And I'm like, I just want weed, man. And he goes, all right, all right, well, hey, check this out. <laughs> and he's like, this is what I smoke. This guy's like exhibit. Yeah, he's like, check this out. He goes, and then he, but then he goes, this is what I smoke. And he hands me just a a bag filled with a chunk of crystal meth. Oh my god! <laughs> and I was like, I just want I just want weed, dude. And he, and he's like showing me his crystal meth, and then he's showing off his he sh- he's trying to brag, like showing off his meth pipe to me. Like, check this out. This is why I use to smoke meth. <laughs> Jesus, this is pretty cool, right? <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, take nah. another timestamp because you guys have hit on you guys have hit on too many accurate names. <laughs> Um, well, I hope you learned a valuable lesson about telling a long-winded story about your eventual meth use. Well, if y'all don't want to hear it, you just stop right, No, me. keep going. It's good. <laughs> we need to fill time, Joe. Shut up. Oh, Harrington just messaged me. Dalton, do you want to come do stand-up? Wait, Hold he on. messaged me, too. Hold on. Did he? What did he say? <sighs> Sup. Oh, weird. Uh, anyway... Anyway, but he so here's but well, here's the funny thing. Yeah. Oh, nice, dude. Hold on, I'm booking a show. Oh, nice, dude. That's way more important, honestly. Um. Yes, I am free tomorrow morning. I'll have something to plug here in a minute. Is it the real ass podcast? Probably. Uh. Any so, but he, so here's here's the funny thing is, he we went for a ride in his truck later, and he had asked me. He told me he th- that he had gotten this surgery and it was botched, and he was having trouble like having any energy after his surgery. He was having trouble getting back on his feet, and the thing that helped him pick himself back up after this botched surgery was crystal meth. And that's why he was smoking meth, was that it, it got it got him back on his feet after a tragic event. <laughs> Do you think that might help you with your no, situation? No, but, but, and he asked me, he was like, just please don't tell your parents about this. And the second we left his house, I immediately told them. Because <laughs> they were, like, worried about, like, why he was getting so skinny. And I was like, oh, yeah. He's, if y'all are wondering why he's so thin, it's because he's smoking crystal meth. I mean, but it seemed to be working. For How'd they react? Oh my god! Oh, dude, they were so fucking pissed. My my mom was like spinning these conspiracies. My mom is like, she might be schizophrenic, dude, because like where where her head where she went with that somehow landed on. He's probably connected with the Georgia Mafia, and we were like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Well, how do, that's just how like does moms all, like worrying. Okay, going but to how an does extreme. he have all those drugs though? That is crazy. I mean, it's the South. It's easy to procure. He's like a you, yeah. Know. He's like one of these like Trump libertarian kind of like you know one of those like guys who look, kind of exist on the the fringe already. You know, and probably just knows where to get drugs. Did you think someone was off about him before you knew he was doing meth? Like, yeah, I was like, we went because my when we got there, I was like, what the fuck are my parents spending time with? This is like a creepy dude. It's his birth. This dude has four daughters. Wait, so he's your cousin? He's my cousin, but it's like, 
This dude has four daughters, and it's his birthday, and none of them are here. This is fucking weird. This is that is weird as hell. Yeah, there's a. I mean, this dude. There's clearly a reason why no one is spending time I mean, with how, this guy. Where, does it do his daughters also live in Georgia? Yeah, they live close. Mm, that's crazy. It's cr- it was. It was and he has sad. No friends. It was sad, man. So your parents are his closest friends. I think so. I think no, Dalton's his closest dude, friend. Dalton might be his closest friend. Maybe, now. dude. Damn, was, I'm really bummed sucks. out now, dude. It Damn. was so sad, and it was like, oh. I. I, Imagine having to buy drugs from a family member. Oh, yeah. I guess there's also that level. No, of... I mean, like, it's like, damn, I could never imagine being so dry. <laughs> yeah, I would never it buy. Was, well, it was Actually, Georgia. I might have so... bought weed from my cousin once back in high school. I don't know. I've all, It's like I've, I've drank with, like, some members, but I've never, like, done drugs with anyone. And it's like, I, I also yeah. don't want to. They're all fucking squares, dude. They don't really do drugs. Like, of, of, or if they do, like, they're all in, like, recovery. My cousin, who's, like, kind of disappeared, it was, like, a huge stoner in high school. And he, went to, he was in my grade, or, yeah, my grade, too, so. Yep. Dude, it was so, so he was already in, like, yeah. you know, the smoking circles dude. or whatever anyway, so. Oh, I was on Damn, the, Dalton, I'm really sad now. That's funny. Dude, I was really? on the family Yeah, that, dude. like, really deeply dude. made me very sad. Hey, man, <laughs> oh, you... Man. So uh, you look, you stare into the abyss. The abyss stares. I back. was really hoping it would be a funnier story. Dude, yeah, me too. It was funnier thinking about it. It, it was funny when you were messaging it to us. But I guess I, I think I guess it's going, fucking hilarious. I guess honestly. picking back through the details, it was. It's just a p- portrait of a very sad life. It's a portrait of an American it's life. It's a portrait dude. of just a tragic yeah, it just re- American. It reminds me of yeah the America that's been left behind. Mm. I I do I do know that because he he is like legit racist like. Okay. Not n- not in the way Twitter calls people racist. He is actually racist. And I do remember asking him, because my whole life he's always flown. <laughs> that really did, I'm like fucking bummed out right now. My, Why? I just feel like, dude, I, I, I think I'm an empath. My whole life. That is not good, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that is not good. You're dude. like uh, Deanna Troy yeah. from Next That's Generation. That's not good to be empathetic, dude. Because people aren't going to be empathetic That's towards gr- you. That's I know, gr- dude. I'm learning. I'm learning this my entire life. Damn. This is the lesson I've had. Like, I don't know. So many people are just like, I don't know. You gotta, you gotta learn not. to I'm just be that sad way. that this guy exists, and he's well, like, but, it's not going to affect you though. Oh, and there's yeah, nothing so you can do about it. So what I was going to say it, though is he, he's legit racist. And my whole life, I've always known him to fly a Confederate flag on his lawn. But when we got there, he was flying a Trump flag, and I was like, "I was like, hey man, where's your stars and bars?" And he said, "That right there, that's the new stars and bars." Oh, <laughs> that's funny, man! <laughs> wow, I can't believe a Trump supporter is racist. That's yeah. crazy, man. Oh, dude, he was dropping some hard R's. Oh no, so you're, so and ro- not in a fun way. Jesus. So you're dude. Robbie. Your cousin is the only one that smokes weed in the family. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I I can't tell. I think it's a lot of casual weed. I think my dad might smoke, but I'm not sure. Damn, dude, I'm like the only fucking drug user in my family. It's fucking nuts. Like yeah. I'm the stoner uncle. Dude, getting high around think my parents. my cousin's the only like stoner. He's like smoked. He like moved to the fucking humble. So like I just I told be, just be closer to weed. I think. Oh, that's funny, dude. <laughs> like that's like why I think about moving back to California. Just like the ease of access. Just being, to weed. yeah. Well, it's like ugh, I, I was researching to... like delivery. I don't even smoke that much, but I'm I'm trying to like. You know, trying to you what know. in New York? Well, no, in uh, in in California. I mean, it, dude, it's all, it's I, I fun. I have such a good time buying weed, and like, get, I was really excited to get the vape cartridge, and it was fun to just have it. And then I smoked, and I was like, ah, fuck, I don't know if I like that, dude. I, I'm I with you. I, I might just like buying gear, dude. And, like buying dude, things, buying <laughs> and preparing weed is like most of the fun. It's by far my favorite part. I was rolling some joints last night, just giggling to my. I was like. <laughs> dude, I might, I this might, just, fun. maybe I'll do cushy dreams. Dude, so it's it's fun to like roll a blunt and be like, man, I can't wait. Sometimes like as you're rolling it, you're like, fuck, I cannot wait to smoke. Simpsons. Most no, you're like, shimp. Yeah, you're shimp, dude. Who's shimp? He's he, like the fourth one that replaced Curly. I don't know. I hate. I hate knowing about the three. Why is it? That's like a staple. Like every guy that likes comedy has to know about the Three Stooges. Three Stooges kind of suck. Yeah, Marx man. Brothers were great. It's, no, but it's good when you're a kid. It's like, like I liked physical. the Three Stooges when I was a kid. I, like, I liked Looney Tunes. I was like, I, this is like a cartoon, but I want to see it done much better and mm-hmm. with like. 
consequences. I want to see them actually become accordions. Yeah. I think yeah. you have to live an entire life as an accordion. Yeah. yeah. Like just everybody thinks you're the most obnoxious instrument for the rest of your life. That is funny. Weird Al just learned how to play the silliest instrument. That's kind of a really fun comedy move. My Aunt, Philip- My Aunt Philomena was very good at the accordion. She took it very seriously. It is an annoying ass instrument. Oh, yeah. It's oh, really I don't hard think I've hard ever heard. Sort of Ginzo fucking begging on the street during a depression instrument is that? Like, I know. It's just like every every accordion song is just so fucking irritating. <laughs> did you know? Did you know? Like Mia is really good at the accordion. Of course she is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mean something manufactured wacky is done by Mia? Wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got her ass, folks. Uh, cool. <laughs> All right, so do y'all want to hear about me shitting my pants? Mm-hmm. More than anything in the fucking world, Dalton. <laughs> Dude. Hold on, let me let me uh, let me sit up right. Let me get alert. All right, I you have my undivided <laughs> attention. Please tell me about your hero's journey. No, nah, dude, this rules. I'm so proud I can't of, wait. I'm so proud of. I this. can't wait. Dude, I did a, I did a show, a backyard show on Saturday, Ooh. and after the show, me and the the guy who booked it and two two lady comedians. Uh, we all went to another show at Tiny Covered, and after that, we we'd been drinking the whole night. We'd actually we had shotgun some beers uh, before we went to Tiny Covered, and mm. we were getting we were getting loose. Uh oh, and um, Lucy C K over here. Yeah, there. and I punched a hole in the beer with my thumb, and then Chloe LeBranch bit into it with her teeth. <laughs> she rocks. Uh, but then we all shout out Chloe LeBranch, yeah, fr- friend of the show. May and she rest in peace. We all went to Tiny Covered. And I don't know her at all, actually. I I was taking a piss Ooh. And while I was pissing. I, s- I squeezed out a fart and Yummy. probably put a little too much oomph into it, but I didn't think anything of it. I guess it felt kind of hot, but I was like, I, oh, man. Yeah, it's just a fart. And then we were outside, and you know, like when you get a fart s- stuck in your butt cheeks, you know what I'm talking. You ever had that? Absolutely. Yeah, you know what I mean. You yeah, get, you get like a piece of a fart stuck in your mm-hmm. butt cheeks. You got to clench and squeeze it out. Yeah. Like sometimes it tickles your balls on the way out. I thought that's what was going on. But I couldn't get the fart out, and then after a while, I was like, "Oh, this is just shit in my pants." <laughs> and so we all we all went to another bar together. We were in the lift. Who does it go home with shit in their? Pants? I was drunk, dude, and one of the girls was pr- pretty, and I. So, so you thought? So your end goal was to take your pants off <laughs> and let her see the Look, shit. Look, man, I'm. <laughs> I'm living life by my rules. This is this is, this is Dalton's crying game, <laughs> you know. Dude, so. I, and I also, I reference. didn't know, I didn't know how bad the shit was. I just was like, "There's some shit in my pants. Probably not too bad." And, <laughs> and so we get to the other bar, <laughs> and I go to the bathroom to check it out, and I was like, oh, "Fuck, this is a disaster. <laughs> There's so much shit in my pants." And I did what I could to clean it up, but I was like, in the process, just got shit all over my hand. <laughs> it was like all over my leg. And uh, I sent y'all a picture of my underwear. The yeah, next thanks day. for that, by the way. <laughs> thanks yeah. a lot. That for was a, that was a great. Did start. A Rorschach test. Doll not <laughs> a Rorschach test. Been sitting on it all day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. pushed it into one fucking. <laughs> <shape>. So <laughs> so we. we D- Dalton's shit was like, I'm not locked up in here with you. And so I, w- I cleaned up as best I could, washed off, got all the shit off my hand, and we we went back to the table. And we kept drinking, last call happens, and then the, the girl that I liked, she gets up to go, and she's like, I, I got a guy I'm seeing, I'm going to go meet up with him. And as she's leaving, I, like, reach out to, for her to hold my hand. Christ. And she, like, actually holds my hand. Your shit hand. The shit hand. Moments before that hand was covered in shit. Oh, uh, there's no way it didn't smell. I don't know, dude. And she was like, and I was like, wait, wait. I'm sure drunk Dalton took all the necessary per- oh, sanitary sure, yeah. precautions. I like to think it's, you know, you know when you go into a bar and you know those, uh, those uh, soap dispensers where you have to like really push the metal thing down. Yeah, yeah. And just like a tiny amount of that neon pink <laughs> yeah. soap yeah. Cam- comes out. I like to think that's what he used yeah, to I like, like I like to think that Dalton had like a half shit hand. I was like, that's good enough, man. We're, yeah. par- we're partying. No. <laughs> so <laughs> it on the bathroom wall. <laughs> Red rum, like The Shining. So... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, corn, it's corn whiskey. Yeah. 
<laughs> and so we're back. So we're holding hands, and I I stand up and I pull her in, and like we're I was like holding her, and I go, Ooh. I was like, are you sh- like you? Now I'm hard. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, why don't you hang out a little bit longer? And she goes, no, I gotta go see a man. I'm like, all right, go have fun. And so she splits, and then I'm there with my other friend. We step outside, and I ask my friend, I was like, you have you have her number, right? And he's like, yeah. And I go call her, and so he calls her, and I'm like, hand me the phone. And I was like, hey, it's it's me, Dalton. Oh, my God. Oh, and my she, God. She's like, yeah, what's up? And I go. You fucking horror movie villain. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I, shit my, I shit my pants for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, w- I was drunk. I would never do the this. The hills have creepy guys. <laughs> But I, I told her I was like, hey, I know you're gonna, I know you're gonna see a man tonight, but how about you? And oh, I, how about dude. you? How about you and I go oh out sometime? Oh my god! And she goes, no, he's already put in the time. I, I'm seeing him, and I was like, well, hey, look, have fun with that dude tonight, but hit me up if you ever want to get with a real stud. No, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I bet, I bet this beta. <laughs> Can't even fucking shit his pants. Uh, and then I handed I handed the phone back to my friend, and I was like, "My lips here. I gotta go clean the shit out of my britches." Dalton's like, "If courage, the cowardly dog was also Johnny Bravo." Yeah. Dude, I'm. Damn, I'm you, so how was your? What did your lift score plummet after that? I cannot imagine. If you like, if you get, get with a real stud, let's dude. Not, let's. Not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud no, of that. Where did, <laughs> where did you get that line? I was, I don't know, man. I was, I was playing jazz that night. I was improvising. <laughs> Yikes! It's about the rapes you don't hear. <laughs> hey, not <laughs> I, I like that she didn't say that she liked the guy, just that he had put in the time. Yeah. I, I respect that, though. I respect that because a woman should value a man's time. I don't, I don't know, man. I'm pretty proud of it. I feel you're free. proud of that story, dude. I feel free because it's like beyond humiliating. So it's like nothing can phase me now. <laughs> That's what you said after the prostitute. Yeah, dude. It's, if anything, <laughs> you're just on like a downward spiral, yeah, and just, things I are getting <laughs> worse and worse. And like you're just like, doesn't matter. Can't get any. It's like it's gonna get even worse. You shit your pants and you talk about it on a dude. You're almost fucking thirty, dude. And you you sent a picture of your shit covered underwear. <laughs> to your friends, unprompted. To be fair, that's it's the best part of the story. <laughs> that is funny. That, that brings it funny. all back. <laughs> but then, like, I'm gonna go now. I have now. I have the cur- The courage is is now to to talk to this woman. I'm, but I'm sure she won't m- message you, dude. She gave you her number, right? <laughs> no. We, but oh yikes. We, okay. know, we, f- we follow each other on IG. Okay. Well, I'm I'm, I'm sure that's fine. And does she still follow you back? Yeah, dude. She's oh, been wow. watching. She's been watching my stories. Oh my gosh! Yeah, come on. Okay, all right. You should. You should. You should, you should uh, have a story of you, you like should buying send new her hands this clip. underwear. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. It's like if you Post want to know a picture of the shitty underwear now. <laughs> you know how it has the date that it was taken under it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she puts it together. Yeah. yeah. Well, thankfully, he had uh, the day's newspaper with him when he pulled down. Yeah. His <laughs> hey, when we were talking, I had something on my mind that. I just couldn't say in the moment, but I can tell you now. What's that? My pants were full of shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and she's like, the one thing my boyfriend can't offer me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The ability to be, pick out new underwear for she him. She held your hand, right? Yeah. But then she runs into him and she like touches his face to kiss him hello. He gets and he's just like, what? Were you just fingering a man's ass? <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, Dalton, that, Dalton, that's not how eating ass works, yeah. by the way. <laughs> Through the transitive property, that guy's a homo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dalton's like, I have all the ingredients, but I can't put them together. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, dude. That, I, I, I'm still proud. I, Why are you proud? Because it's just He's like, a proud boy. boy. Oh, boy. my God. Speaking of Yikes. Which. So hey Dalton, seriously though, stand down and stand, stand by. Down and stand by. <laughs> yeah. That's what actually he said when he called yeah. her. Hey, I just want to tell you, stand down and stand by. I don't know, dude. It's <laughs> just if, if you ever die, if you don't, if you're bored of this guy and you want to get with a real stud, I will be standing down and standing by. Uh, we'd also like to officially say message received loud and clear, Mr. President. Yikes. <laughs> I don't know. Something about shitting my pants gave me a, a swell of confidence. Yeah, not like a like a little baby who yeah. dude, just like knows the babysitter like how, mother like how Samson, change their diaper. Like how Samson from the Bible got his power from his hair. Yeah. I get my power from shitting my britches. <laughs> <laughs> Damn man. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes, dude. Oh, hey, man. if you guys want to donate to the pod, <laughs> it's going to be to get Dalton some adult depends, <laughs> a, dude. A Superman thing. And, it also and you go into a phone booth and shit your pants. <laughs> 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 that's how you, that's oh, your it's like su- every phone booth in the city. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, how you, that's like your superhero. You, don't, you, you like see Godzilla attacking, and you're like... <gasps> 
I've got to go save the city. I'm needed. And, uh, I'm needed. Also, <laughs> he's going to fumble shit your pants and walk right back. <laughs> <laughs> That's your uniform. <laughs> it's just shit. Yeah. Pants. You I, got a big fucking interview with I your I look boss. the same. I'm just doing a duck walk <laughs> down the street. <laughs> And you just go home. <laughs> yeah, job well done. I saved the city. I feel more confident now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was also funny. Have you ever wow, shit? Wow, what a great podcast. Have you ever shit after taking Pepto Bismol? No. No. I so never- the bismuth in Pepto Bismol turns your shit like pitch black. And oh, so yeah. I had taken Pepto that day. And so it was just like. It, it just looked like coal. <laughs> it, met, it was wet coal in my bridges. On this episode of Black Mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It looked like the Venom symbiote was coming out of your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Venom thing, but it's made out of shit. Yeah. Dalton, <laughs> Yo. tell her that you're a stud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we have to get pussy tonight? <laughs> what if she sees What if she sees you? <laughs> I did tell my buddy that. I was like, I'm, bum- I'm bummed she left, but if she had actually taken me home with her and I pulled my pants off, there'd just be Now shit. you know how trans women feel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stick yeah. off your underwear and throw it away. Yeah, she would have beat me up if she had seen that shit in my pants. She'd be like, you tricked me. No, you just tell her you have to go to the bathroom. Just think of a great line, like, get a load of this. <laughs> be like, man, I, no one's ever made me come out of my ass. Should have met.